As the Eurozone crisis set to return, markets are suffering some volatility on Thursday as a Portuguese bank comes under pressure. This is bringing back an issue that investors had thought was dead and buried, the Eurozone crisis. Now, the situation itself is a little bit convoluted. It's involving multiple levels of bank holding companies, but at the core of the matter seems to be some accounting irregularities um, and a potential investigation. Uh, but this is really bringing forth concerns that a lot of the core issues in the Eurozone debt crisis, issues like high unemployment, high government debt levels, unreformed uh, entitlement programs, a lack of export competitive, competitiveness, I mean the list kind of goes on and on, these issues were never really resolved. They were pretty much just papered over by actions from the European Central Bank, which by the way just cut interest rates into negative territory, and investors kind of looked the other way as borrowing costs for countries like Portugal and Greece started to come down, in some cases even below levels of the U.S. Treasury, um, and ev investors just kind of looked the other way. But now we're seeing this kind of working in reverse where doubts are growing over the health of the banks, borrowing costs in Portugal are back up to 4% on the 10-year yield for the first time since April and we're really facing a situation where we could see the, dyna di the dynamics working in reverse. Weak banks, uh, weak bo government bonds, uh, higher borrowing costs, and new pressure on the economies in the countries in Europe. So really a dangerous situation that I think is going to probably get worse in the weeks and months to come.